Okay, let's continue on uh, with AES. Uh, we were calculating AES subbyte uh, using mathematical definition. Uh, normally, we can do it with a table, uh, but uh, we're taking a different approach of calculating this uh, using something called uh, uh, finding the multiplicative inverse of it and multiplying it by some matrix and then uh, XORing it with a different matrix. Um, so let's do this. Uh, in a previous video, what we calculated is this. What we calculated, uh, if you remember this definition, we are taking that state matrix, which was 0C, and first we need to take to find the multiplicative inverse of that, which we did in our previous video. So that turns out to be B0. And B0, which was in hexadecimal, and as we know in hexadecimal, A is uh, 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. Okay, so based on this, we have we got B0. Uh, check out my previous video, how to find multiplicative inverse of polynomials. Uh, so what we have done, we have transformed this B0 in a form of bits, which was 1011, that was B, and 000, which is just 0. Okay. And now, this is the matrix which is part of the standard. Uh, so what we were doing in our formula that we have, we, we found the first multiplicative inverse. We're going to multiply these values with this. All of these values needs to be multiplied. And once we find that value, we will XOR it. And that should be my uh, sub-byte transformation of the, of the byte, which was 0C, which is 0C. Okay, so this and this, these are all part of the standard. In place of B0, B1, B2, I have actually put in the value of B0 you know, in binary form. So starting from the least significant bit, that is B0, start going all the way up to most significant bit, that is 1. So that's why it's right here. So let's multiply them together. Uh, so the way we're going to multiply, we're going to multiply. So it's simply the matrix multiplication. So 0 multiply by 0. I'm going to do with pencil so you would know what's going on. So in place of this, we will have a plus sign. And plus in Galois field 2 to the 4 is nothing but modular 2 arithmetic. Uh, so then we have second 0, 0 multiplied by 0 plus. Then we have a third, multiply by 0. Then we have 4. So first we have four zeros. So just remember it so we can populate this quickly. Then we have two ones. So I'm going to simply multiply by 1 plus multiply by 1. Then we have 0 plus multiply by 0 and multiply by 0 we did plus multiply by 1. So I know 1 multiply by 0 so this is just going to be 0. This is 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 going to be 1. This is going to be 1 and this is going to be 1. So how many ones do I have here? Uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 and this is modular 2 arithmetic. So in plus, plus is actually nothing but XOR in Galois field 2 to the 8. Uh, so this is going to be 3. 3 mod 2 is 1. So the answer for this, when I multiply this, I will get 1. So I'm going to write the answer here. Um, actually, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to write the answer here. So once I get these answers, I'm going to XOR them with the value of Y. That should be my value of D0. So the first answer I got is 0, 1. So I'm going to keep distributing this 0. So this 0 is 0. So first I have first ze four zeros. So I'm just going to simply multiply them with zeros and put an uh, add sign there. Then we have two ones. So multiply by 1 plus multiply by 1. Plus I have one zero here. Multiply this by 0 plus multiply that by 1. I have a last one here. Okay, so this is just going to be 0. This is 0. 0, 0, 0 multiplied by 1 is 0, 1 multiplied by 1 is 1, 1 multiplied by 0 is 0, and 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. So what is 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 mod 2 is 0, so the multiplication is just 0. Okay, so let's do the third one. So I have first 4s are 0, so 0 plus multiply by 0 plus multiply by 0 plus multiply by 0 plus I have two ones 
plus then I have one zero then I have one at the end so I have four zeros one two three four that I'm multiplying by then I have two ones one two which are these and then this is zero and this is one so how many ones do I have I have one I have that's it that's the only one I got yep so what is one more two one more two is one one more two is one when you have a modulus which is bigger and your mod, uh, the number itself is smaller you get the same number back so I got this to be one so let's do it quickly zero plus multiply by zero plus multiply by zero plus multiply by zero plus multiply by one plus multiply by one plus multiply by zero plus multiply by one so once I do that, how many ones do I have? So one, two, three, four, these are all zeros. So this is two ones, which are zeros. So I only have one one right here. So what is one mod two? It's actually one. All right, I hope you're getting it. Uh, so just simply do that. Multiply by zero, plus multiply by zero, plus multiply by zero, plus multiply by one, because I got two ones, plus multiply by one, plus zero multiply by zero plus multiply by one so how many ones do I have here uh, this is zero this is zero this is zero there is only one one so one more two is actually one simply do that here plus multiply by zero multiply by zero plus multiply by zero okay one two three four plus multiply by one plus multiply by one plus multiply by zero plus multiply by one all right how many ones do I have one two so let's bring those two out what is one plus one is two and what is two more two zero so this is going to be zero so let's do quickly this multiply by zero why am I multiplying it just recap I'm just simply distributing this this like this and since it's matrix multiplication I'm gonna add them and add in Galois field in AES is modular to arithmetic which is nothing but your XOR operation all right so I got four zeros I'm gonna multiply so we were doing a sub byte uh, mathematical transformation and part two um, so I think I was uh, working out this example and I sort of lost voice in my device so I'm just going to go through this so I can complete this uh, problem. So what is it that we were doing? So we already gotten these values. These were the multiplicative inverses of that. And we were just simply multiplying these values with this. Everything is being multiplied like this. And based on that, we were calculating something called, once we multiply this 0, I mean, let's take, let's take this matrix and multiply by these values so 0 multiply by 0 0 multiply by 0 0 multiply by 0 0 multiply by 0 these black ones they are just part of the standard and 1 multiply by 1 1 multiply by 1 0 multiply by 0 1 multiply by 1 just like any multi uh, uh, matrix multiplication we add them up so we count number of ones so 1 so there were two ones so 1 plus 1 mod 2 was two, uh, 0. So that's why we have 0 here. Same thing I have done it for this guy. Then I have 1. Then this was part of the state matrix as well. So as you can see this, this one is also part of the state matrix. What I mean to say state matrix, part of the standard. So what is 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 mod 2 is 0. Hence we got 0 here. Uh, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 more 2 is 1, we got 1 here, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 more 2 is 1, we have 1 here, 1 plus 0 more, more 2 is 1, and same thing, so 1 plus 1, 1 plus 0 is more 2 is 1 right here, and same thing, this is how we gotten all of these values. So after that, we just simply picked up these values, and I have written them down here, so then this is 0 starting from the least significant bit which is at d0 and going all the way up d7 so starting from here this is the least significant bit so this is d0 and all the rest of them are 1 once I have this in a in a binary form 
I know hexadecimal is a 4-bit number because we started our problem with the hexadecimal numbers. So this is for first 4 bits, which were 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 1, 1, 1 is 15, and in, in hexadecimal is actually F, and 1, 1, 1, 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14, 14 is E, and this is E, so we have this. So when we transform 0C in part 1, we did transform 0C, finding the multiplicative inverse is B0. And then after going through this, which is part of the, everything in black is part of the standard. All right, except for these, these were the actual calculated numbers. Uh, so we got in the value of Fe. And just to show you what Fe is, and as you were uh, previously said, you can also use the tables which are available, but we were going through this mathematical process just to see what's going on uh, behind the scene. So just to show you what this is, uh, let me show you in a book. Okay. So, so, so transform from subbyte 0C corresponds to FE. So let's re let's do it in terms of this. So this is my subbyte transformation table from the book. And what we have just calculated, we can do it with the table as well. So first row is zero. Excuse me. First row is zero. And then our column is all the way up to C. And what is this? This is F E. So zero C transform. So zero in terms of row. And C is in terms of column that transform to F E. And we do this mathematically for all of those 16 bytes which are there in our state matrix, which is which looks something like that. So this is how you transformed uh, using multiplicative inverses, finding multiplicative inverses, and then transforming using this uh, matrix, which is provided in the standard, and do the mathematical process to get FE. So I hope you like the video. Don't forget to, if you have any questions, leave it in a comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.